Right, yo, what's up guys? We've got Lightning here, back at you guys with another video. This time we're playing Aurelia again, versing Shen in the top lane. I'm running Scaling Armor and MR and AD Reds and Attack Speed Quints of this matchup. Um, <clears throat> I prefer the AD, the AD Reds lately and I think a lot of other Aurelia players are opting in for the, the AD Reds just for their um, extra short trading um, early. Because you get a lot of attack speed through Triforce anyway, right? So, um, you don't really need the 29% attack speed. I mean, I still like it. It's, it's so fucking good. But, um, I like the extra AD as well. Just for short trades and also CSing and stuff like that. So, anyway. Level 1. Um, since I have scaling, it's really hard to trade with them. It's something I really don't want to be doing too much. Just with E-Autos, that's the most trades I want to do at this stage, stage of the game. Like, level 1. Uh, like, Shen's really difficult to verse, right? So his abilities do magic damage, and I think his taunts, like, physical damage or something. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head, but he does, like, health percent damage, like, physical damage, and then magic damage through his abilities as, as well. And, like, one of his abilities is, like, physical. I think it's a taunt. So he's got a lot of mixed damage in there, right? So it's it's really hard to, to kind of beat him, like, out-trade him, especially this early with the... Um, Look, see how much damage he just did to be level 2? Again, I've got scaling um, resists on, right? So level 2 I'm going to be really, really squishy, which is fine. But I do want to I do want to scale up and, and try and get to at least level sort of 4 or 5 before I really, you know, have to back and use my TP and that sort of thing. But early, early Shen out trades you. Um, I, think, I think it's just purely because of his empowered auto, his shield. Um, and his W where you, you know, you can't attack him, like, watch this, oh, no, he didn't use his W there. Took a tower shot. See the taunt, and if I was to go in here, so we got his flash, I want to back out after that, because I can freeze the lane here. So if Javan would just back out, that'd be great. So for the most part, I can freeze. I'm safe at my tower, if I activate my W, which I just did, um, you know, I gain quite a bit of health back, uh, as long as I don't fuck up my Q. Which I just did. But that's okay. Um, it's still not hitting my tower. And Kane's still around here. I don't care about what they're doing. I wish J4 would just back off. Like, I don't want him to come top, really. I want him to snowball, like, bot lane. Because we have Cogmore. You know, they have Tristana. So, this game is typically going to be... Who wins? Who wins bot wins? You know, whoever wins bot wins. j 4 What, J4 flashed there, did he? He did, eh? What the fuck? See, I don't know why he's still here. Why isn't he just doing golems? I'm not, I wasn't going to die. Like, I mean, I know I was going to take damage. But I, I know for a fact, like, I've, through playing the matchup a few times, um, you know, that I won't die, right? I'm just going to fast forward the uh, boring bits. Just because this video is quite long. Oh, this match was quite long. But shit, Shin, I think I did quite good versus Shin. Javan's... Oh, I just backed. Okay, so Kane's still around, but see how I've got the lane frozen right here, and Shen just keeps auto-attacking, and I just keep letting it push, and then uh, last hitting, and then um, just CSing when I need to, like last hitting when I need to, and then trimming the wave whenever I can, if I need to. You know, Kane can't gank me, you know. <laughs> Since I've already got a back off, and I got... what? Okay, what I get? So I got my Ruby Crystal and my Longsword, right? So that's first part of my phage. So, and Shen hadn't bought, so there's no way they could really dive me. I wish J4 just left me alone. He could have just gone and farmed something and then like, gone to bot. Um, but that's okay, right? Anyway, Shen's gone back. The wave's pushing to me, so I made sure that I didn't push it out. Because if I pushed it out, he might have been watching from his base. Um, you know, con contemplating whether he was going to TP or not. But since he saw that I started to freeze it and it was pushing back, sorry, back to my tower. Um, you know, he has no choice. He has to back after that get wrecked son um so yeah so he had to tp into that otherwise i would have like just infinite freezed it he would have lost like two waves so that's where you get the good trades off yeah man shen sucks to this i shouldn't have gone back in after that trade i actually won the trade with my initial um you know w, w uh auto attacks so that was quite good uh, i don't know if you guys heard that police siren south Auckland. so we're going for the alt here I thought I could kill this guy here. Because what's he got? He's got a timer, right? So. Fucking he put. Okay, I just missed him. What was he on? What was he on? Fuck, like 20 HP by the time I didn't get him? Fucking hell, man. 
So it's unfortunate that I blew my flash uh, and didn't get the kill because now he's going to have his flash up in about two minutes and mine's like almost five minutes on cooldown. Um, so the only thing I can do is just try and push it the best I can with no mana. We're just going to take a while. See so if we look at the the, the minimap, right? So it takes him like 20, almost 30 seconds to get back to lane from the time he backs. And so he's not going to catch the wave, luckily, which is which is good for me. Um, I want to get into the tower so it obviously rebounds back to me. Because I want the CS. I don't want him to be able to freeze it. I don't want him to get ganked by Kane. Not at this... Because Kane... Uh, sorry. Shane can set up the ganks so fucking well. Like... If he just gets a taunt... Um... A taunt, a taunt off. And then... All that, that's all it's going to take for him to get some damage off of me. And then Kane to... You know, like finish me off. And the more damage Kane gets on me, the, the easier he can snowball. Because the sooner he gets to turn, turn into his... Um... Second form. Just, you know, by doing the champion damage thing. So... Uh, you know, I really just don't want to give them anything at this stage. I mean, if we look at the CS, 43 to 53, so I'm 10 up. Uh, what's the button? Okay, so it's pretty even in gold. Did he... How are we so even in gold? Like, I'm only 50 gold ahead, but I'm 9 CS up. I don't understand that. Interesting. He doesn't have an assist. Maybe he got, like, 3 cannons and I got 0? I don't know. That's fine. My goal at this stage isn't to like try and get kills on him. Well, I mean, I mean that'd be nice, right? In the perfect world, like you'd want to get kills on your lane opponent. But look, he's got you know, um, he's got the wave clear. He's got the the rejuve bead uh, and and the pots, right? So it's it's pretty hard to. I mean, I could have sustain him eventually, but um, to like you know fully kill him would be pretty hard. See so, yeah, how activate his W. I'm trying to just force him out of lane. Didn't really work. Um, after, after his W went, I wanted to sort of get some more damage on him because without his W, he's basically like, like basically useless. So I was going to try and force Madeleine and then push it and then get a free back. Cause you know, if I look at my gold, I got 600 gold. That's my phage. Oh, I've got my phage already. You know, that could be double daggers or like a, um, some armor and a dagger or something like that. Right. So I was, that was my goal there, but, um, but fucked it up. Didn't quite get the damage off. But now, yeah, I'm in a position where I can just freeze anyway, so it doesn't really matter. He can't push me out of lane, but he can try and just force the force the wave shove. Like like what he's doing now. I can't really go on him with all his creeps, but he can just force the wave into my tower with his team out anyway. Which he's just done. Now, if, I mean, if I was him, I'd go for a back, but... I mean, because what's he got? He's got... 1,000 gold, that's his... I mean, if he wanted... If, I think he goes for a uh, Titanic first. So I guess he's going for like... Um, 1,200 gold or something to get the next part of his Titanic Hydra. But me, I just want to I just want to get the farm, you know? Because as far as um, damage goes and like scaling goes... I mean, Shen's not the best mid-game champion. No, here's Kane. I don't know if I die here or not. Probably. Oh, I gave Rex, son. Okay, yeah, I didn't die here, that's right. So that's such a mistake from him, diving the Aurelia. I would just pop my pots, auto-attack him, and then stun him under the tower. So we got Shen's ult, and I killed Kane. So now, as you can see, because of their mistake, I mean, I'm so far ahead now. So I'm for 400 gold ahead now of, of the Shen. I get to TP back to lane, he has TP, so I'm going to force him out of lane, and then oh, I'll actually kill him here. Holy shit. This game was played like a couple of days ago. This is the first time I've um, been able to record. Because um, I've, I've had quite a busy uh, like work week. So it's hard to remember exactly every little detail that happened in the in the game. But that's okay. So if we go back, right. So Kane made the mistake of diving under tower. He got stunned under tower and then died for it. And then I TP'd back to lane with uh, good items. And then I was able to kill the, the Shen. So that should, that should force his TP now. Right. So if we go to the Fog of War. So he's... Yeah, so he just TP'd. So I forced T uh, Shen's TP and got some more gold. So now if we look at the gold, I'm almost a thousand up on him. So basically 900 up, up on him. So that gives me my Sheen and a dagger. I really want the daggers because that when I get my Triforce, that's when I'm gonna, just going to go absolutely ham on these guys. So let's go back to me. So I'm walking back to lane. He he has no choice but to shove it because his, his Tiamat is automatically going to like shove the wave anyway. So... 
He's slowly pushing it. I should be watching what's happening bot. I mean, I don't have TP, so I can't really help anyway, but... I'd say Cog's... Oh, rip. Cog's pretty fucked. He's gonna die. Is he? Oh, yeah, he's, he's fucking dead, man. Rip. Okay, I'll go back to me. I'm important. So, Shin won a trade on me, uh, looks like. <clears throat> I just want the CS. Because I am 20 CS up, and I want to keep my CS advantage on this guy. See, I don't need to kill him, but I mean, judging by the gameplay so far, by like Kane, especially diving me and, and dying under tower, I don't need to play two aggro on this guy. I'm at a point now when I can, where I can out trade him because of the gold I've gotten versus, you know, how much gold he's gotten. Um, <clears throat> and just doing shame. Just being a bit, a bit, um, you know, using a bit more intelligence and, and getting some funny looking trades and like using my Q well so that he doesn't expect me to jump on him. Um, just getting damage in like that. Keeps him on the back foot. But slowly but surely I'll, I'll get him, I'll eventually um, force him out of lane. But the only thing is if Kane comes, I don't want Kane to come and kill me. So I should be warding, uh, but I haven't. So I've got two wards on my inventory. I mean, I, I'm trying to back anyway, but key ward would be there and there. If I can get a ward like down here, that'd be really great. This is a common ward spot for like top laners. They ward down here so they get the Gromp and the blue buff. Um, so if they're traveling through here at all for whatever reason, whether they're going uh, from Gromp and they're going, you can see them going back down to like Wolves, or if you can see them coming into the river, um, then you know you can see exactly where they're going. So it's such a good uh, ward spot for top laners. I try and, and like if I'm really ahead, I can take over the, the lane and that side of the map. I'll definitely try and get wards in there. Can you guys hear that? I don't know if you can hear that. Fucking Tongans, mate. Not a racist comment. We got the rugby league over here. Uh, Tonga versus Samoa tomorrow night. So uh, everyone's going absolutely fucking crazy for that. And there's just people out at like all hours of the night with flags and uh, exterior car speakers. And it's it's an interesting time. Anyway, got TP back in about a minute and a half. Uh, looks like these guys have been forced off tower. They lost tower. I would like to get more damage on my tower because what I want to do is complete Triforce. See, I'm almost there. And then I want to snowball and start killing this person. Kassadin, I reckon I could start killing him. Um, I mean, he's 2-0-2. He's, he's, and two. he's got the Rowers the row, so that uh, makes it a bit harder with the health. But um, at least Malzahar's not feeding. But I thought Malzahar would have got more damage on the tower than that. Um, given that Kassif has been roaming and Malzahar have, has you know such strong wave clear. That uh, you know he should be able to uh, really force that tower down. So my bot lane's behind. So you know how I said this game's like battle of the bot lanes? My bot lane's behind, which uh, kind of sucks. But um, as long as I can get my Triforce and then roam and snowball the map, I'll probably end up telling my bot lane to go to go top so they can farm versus Shin. And then I can go bot and hold, hold well, just have more access to the, to the, to the map. Especially down bot where, you know, I'm a higher level and they may not be able to, you know, deal with my damage at this point of the game. So I'm going to back and get Triforce. Looks like their bot lane has transferred, uh, transition over to mid, so uh, I might have to go there and help them. We'll see how we go. Look at the gold again. Uh, so I'm 800 up on Shen. Uh, still beating him by, you know, 20-something uh, CS. Can't maths right now. But I'm still winning in CS, beat, winning in gold. Got my Triforce, got my uh, Mercs. I got Mercs because there's a Shin, there's a Zyra, uh, you know, Kassin has a slow, Kane has a, like a knock-up, that sort of thing. Well, I don't think Merc trades works versus knock-ups. But anyway, Tristana even has a slow, right? So, uh, I think Mercs was uh, the better choice this game. Just because I don't want to get locked up in a team fight. I want to be able to jump around and, um, you know, get some damage on their carries. So now, all I'm trying to do, uh, since I wasn't able to uh, like go bot lane or anything, so... I'm just trying to keep this lane pushed in. So if we're in a position where Shen wants to TP bot lane or TP, oh sorry, you let you ult someone on the map, I can either TP and follow him, or I can just force force the tower down. So that's my goal at this point. I want to. I, I don't want to freeze the lane anymore. I just want to keep pushing it. Um, I got Triforce, so I'm able to shove quite hard, like um, getting good carry sets on my uh, on the minions and that sort of thing, right? So he can he can, as you can see, like. Uh, it pushed the wave down quite fast, but I'll punish him where I can and then just clear the wave again. So he still wins trades at this point. Only with my ult do I start winning trades. But then see, his W 
I mean, once he's used his W, like, he will win the trade with his W up. But once his W goes down, you can actually re-engage like like I just did, and then and then go on him. So I got his flash and I got the kill. So he can't ult anyone. Oh, Trish gets another kill. That's cool. Let's see what's happening. I just want to see what's happening here because you know it's pretty. You got to realize how these situations unfold, right? So she got a kill onto looks like Jenna. Jenna must have got caught by Zyra or something like that. Uh, I should get this tower. Now Zaha should be able to defend this mid quite easily. Uh, looks like jo I don't I don't know why he just doesn't back. He doesn't have you know good HP regen. He just needs to back. Oh, yeah, I didn't get the tower, but I forced the TP, forced his flash, and got a kill on him. So that puts me in front by even more. So more than a thousand now. Um, so he's going to have his Titanic and his boots to my Triforce boots and... Oh, I didn't back. Looks like I'm trying to fuck with him. That's fine. So he thought he was going to get damage on tower or whatever. I just want the CS. But at this point, I think with my Triforce, I need to start roaming and getting kills and helping my team. See, these guys are trying to force the tower, but it makes it hard when... Wow, they almost killed Kane. Nice job. So they'll get that tower, right? So that's, re that's really good. I'm just trying to prolong my my back for as long as I can. Since I do have TP, Shin doesn't. I can keep him up here as long as I want. And I can always back and then TP back to lane or TP bot, TP wherever I want to help my team. And he's fucked it. Well, he's got his he's got his ult, but um, as long as I'm, I'm taking a little bit of damage every now and then, I can still stun him if I need to. But I decide to shove the wave to, well, clear the wave and then back. Although I don't think he, is he going to stop my back? He will, right? Surely he will. Yeah, he did. Bastard. Um, it's really bad when someone stops your back, because if you get like two seconds away from backing, and then someone stops your back, um, you know, it's just more time that you've wasted. I know that I can TB back, back here and um, still stop him from pushing anyway, but... Uh, see, I sh if, I, if I got my first back off, just sat in the bush or something, I would have been out of back, but now... You know, I, I, I couldn't. So now I've got to clear this wave. I have to clear this wave and back, and then be ready for a fight at mid. So that's that's a, that's a fault of mine. I should have really made sure I got my back off, and then either got back to lane or went mid. Because it looks, it looks like they're just taking control of mid right now. Even though we got the tower, they're focusing on mid quite a lot. Looks like they just want to group and like siege. Whereas, <clears throat> whereas I'm still fighting top. You know, trying to fight the Shen and whatnot. And not really helping my team. Okay, so it looks like I'm going for a bot here. And people are going to hate me, but, you know. Um, I, I, I kind of like bot in this matchup. Because Shen builds health. Health and armor, that's what Shen builds. So, I, I always like going for the bot. I think it's a good choice. Especially versus Shen, right? Because he's, since he's building so much health, you just need to get through all of his health and his resistances. So, I think bot is definitely a good choice. Especially if you can... Um, because, you know, once once you get past a couple of items, Shin doesn't exactly do a lot of damage. It's just about, um, you know, out sustaining his damage sort of thing. Because once he uses his W, it's on like a, I think rank 5, it's like 12 second cooldown or something. So, you know, he doesn't have great, he, he doesn't have great sustained damage. It's more like short trades that he does. And once he's, once he's used that up, you know, he's basically useless, so... The Bork having the sustained damage versus him, I think, is, is probably the better choice than the bursty Triforce. If I was roaming a lot, maybe I'd just go for the um, the Triforce Titanic Hydra build. But um, I think I think Bork's okay here, you know. Their team was also squishy. Don't forget, like um, what are their items at the moment? Kane has Warrior. Um, Kesson's going for a Roa into Zonyas, so that's fine. Um, Triss is quite strong, but. Um, Still squishy at the same time. Zyra is always going to be squishy. Remember, they got no shields or heals. It's all about the damage. So this is a perfect Irelia game. You don't want to go into a game like this. They got no shields or shields or heals. Um, so there's no one really stopping you from jumping onto their their carries, right? So these are the kind of games I like. You know, fuck the out of meta center. Uh, sorry, meta. Uh, I just want to go in on the carries. See, so out damaging Shin already with just with the life steal and the extra AD. So where are we at now? Will I get Bork off that? No, I, I, I want to get Bork because I think it's, what, what am I at, 9, 19? Is it 19? 1800 that I need? Something like that, right? 1900, I think. So we, I'm trying to get that gold before I have to back again. I mean, I don't want to, 
um, you know, go crazy and try and fight him, especially, I mean, you look, I'm on, I do have low mana, right? So I don't want to go balls deep and try and fight this guy. I just want to try and get my farm, uh, keep him in lane. And if he does leave lane for any reason, like TP or anything like that, uh, he has a TP back soon. Um, you know, then I can just shove the lane down. But I really just want to get the farm and get this Bork. So that way, at least I know that I'm going to be winning the 1v1 and, and Shen can't uh, dictate the lane, dictate where he's... Oh shit, that's not good. Could I kill this guy? I have no mana, I can't do shit here. I think I'm dead actually. Oh rip. Yeah, so you know, getting too close. Uh, it's a stupid back position, you know. I mean, I shouldn't have backed there in the first place. And I know that, you know. Jarvan going ham, gets knocked up. Guess the double knock up. Go Jarvan. Kane. Oh, Kane's not dead. <laughs> I would have much rather killed the Kane because he's, I mean, he's, actually he's one on four. He's not doing very well at all. But I mean, as far as I'm concerned, he's more of a carry than Shen is. Where's the Shen? Oh, the Kane backed over here. Okay. Okay, well that's okay. So now I mean, we ask the question, what's my next move, right? Because I've got, I've got the bot. I managed to get the bot. So I, in my opinion, I should be going bot. I mean, my team, I don't think they could do Baron yet. I mean, I don't have my TP up or anything, but um, my plan now, since I'm strong, in my head, I'm thinking, right, I want to be split pushing bot. So my team has Baron priority. Uh, you know, pressure on the Baron, and they can also pressure pressure the top and mid towers whenever wherever they can. Um, but in my mind, I'm thinking, right, I want to be bot by myself with my TP, so I can so so I can TP and have the lane, have the pressure there, right? Get some mint damage on Desire. Double click onto me. So Shen's TPing in. Oh, do I get out? Looks like I get out. Javan shouldn't have gone in there. I was out. Oh, he has flash. Okay, looks like we get out there. A bit ballsy for me. I think the Zyra was okay, but I mean, I should have backed out after that. And now Shen's TP back to top. We, we see that he TP'd because of minions, which is good. So we do know that he's TP'd. So now, I should just go straight back to top and just go where Shen's going. Because then he, if he's... Um... Oh. Go me. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, Triss is getting more kills. Fuck. How do we win this game? I guess we're still strong. Like, you know, Malzahar's doing really well. Oh, he's got shut down. God. But yeah, at this point in the game, you're thinking, right, you know, Triss, Triss has to carry this game. Surely, you know. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking, uh, you know, I know at the stage of the game with my, with the gold that I have, like, I'm equal with Triss. And I was thinking, shit, like, I've got to carry this game. Uh, for my team, but at the same time, I just I, I wanted to play this the sort of split push Aurelia and then stop the Shen from going in on his team. And if he if he went to for a team fight, my team could always back out. Um, you know they have Janna for disengage and whatnot. Um, and I could always just you know make them punish them with by getting a tower or something. And with the Bork, you know your way. I mean you don't have as much wave clear, but you know you take towers faster than if if you had uh, like Titanic Hydra for example. You know, I've got my TP up. I'm in a good spot. I got my TP up. I got good CS. What's my CS? 240 at 20. So I got good CS, right? Uh, compared to Shen's 200. Beating him by 40 CS. You know, up, you know, 1.6k gold. Um, so he can't, he can't defend the lane if I, if I decide to split push, uh, I'm, I'm controlling uh, the game at that point, you know? Because he, I mean, he wants to split push and then, and then ult into his team and whatever. But at this point, you know, I, I'm able to, Push the lane whenever I want, and I, I control when I push. Just got his ult. I should go now for the TP, I do. Go on the Zara. Looks like we're going to get that kill. But now we get Dragon. So Shen didn't actually... He didn't make it down. Did he try and TP and cancel, or did he ult and the person died? I don't know. Actually, I want to see. So I made it down. Shen... Did he even attempt to come down? Did he not? Oh, he doesn't have... Does it not have ult? Oh, he was backing. Oh, fuck. So, when the, the point that I'm TPing down, he's just like, oh, shit. So, he was split pushing without his ult or TP. 
Bad luck, bro. Alright, right, we'll speed that up a little bit. Okay, so that was the advantage of keeping my TP there. So we got Dragon, we got, uh, you know, two or three kills, and now we got a tower. Uh, tower Dragon, a couple of kills. So that's a lot of gold we just got, we just gained, right? So now we want to transition to mid, cut the chasm off if we can. If not, that's fine. We just want to push him mid. <clears throat> so my team's pushing mid. I, they actually start fighting today. Sorry guys, I hit that a bit fast. They're fully like fighting and shit. So I, I just had to go back. I get the kill here. <laughs> Thanks for the kill, boys. Anyway, so now they got two deaths. We've got our ADC down, but that's fine because this is my time to shine. So we could probably get mid tower here if we tried. Oh, maybe not versus Zyra. I don't know. And they have Z zero. What the fuck? Who bought a Z zero? What the fuck? A Shen bought a Z zero. I mean, I guess it gives resistances. I just feel like Zero Rot's second item, especially versus me, is just is just not a good buy, personally. I think he would have been going better going for his um, like Sun or whatever Shen builds. I think does he build Sunfire? I'm not entirely sure. I know an old Shen used to build Sunfire. That was quite common, but do we go on this guy? Oh, it looks like he can't get away. I'm tanking, but I have. I'm actually quite squishy. we get away here? I mean, we should get away, right? Because we're not, we're quite far away. This guy's like in way too deep. He should be getting the fuck out of there. I decide to back. What am I going to buy? I don't actually remember what I bought and stuff, guys. Ah, oh, I'm going for a Black Cleaver. I'm going for the Bork Black Cleaver combo. So if you look at Bork versus a tank, right? So it's, it's percent health damage, but it's physical damage. So he can always um, reduce that damage with armor. But with, with Black Cleaver, once I get Black Cleaver, I shred his armor and do more percent health damage. Uh, the fact that he went for um, the z is kind of strange to me, but that's okay. Now getting some CS here. He got the Bramble Vest. Bramble Vest is a pain in the ass. To be honest, I thought he would have got it um, earlier. Because uh, it's so much better early. It's so much better early. Well, I think it's better early because your health means a bit more earlier in the game, I feel. Especially as, as a rally, and I just that's just this is what I think. I went way too fucking bald. I, I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> fuck. Why would I do that? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so why did I do that? Let's look at why I did that, guys. Okay, we flash back in, stun Tristana. I got taunted again and then died. That was that was so bad. Holy shit. Should not have done that. So I guess I was thinking, you know, I thought I was dead anyway, so why not try and take her with me and blow my flash? But I didn't, so that's really bad play by me. Really, really bad. Um, <clears throat> and that's just a result of, you know, building building um, Bork and things like that and, and being a bit squishy. <clears throat> but also, I think I was pushed up too far relative to where my team is on the map. Like, they, they might have been like... Like back here, and I, w I was up here, so it gave them a free time to, you know, all just jump on me and kill me. Holy shit, my whole team dies. So Cog's dead, Janna died. That's really, really bad. They've got four mid, and here's me clearing top. I, th I should be going mid right now. They're gonna get the tower, like, either way, I'm pretty sure. I don't think we'd stop that at all. Holy shit, that's damage, man. Were they jumping on Jarvan? What do I do here? That's the question. Am I able to do anything here? Oh, yeah, there we go. Go on the Zyra. Zyra's the easiest target to kill. Kane's the next easiest target to kill. Kane, I mean, sorry, Shen doesn't actually do anything, so... That's fine. She got way too close, holy shit. That's the thing, you know, you can jump around and then just fuck with people. And when, as soon as they get in your range, if you Q, even if they flash, it doesn't matter. Uh, you still get the kill. The damage still registers even if they flash or blink or anything like that. The only time the damage doesn't register is if they like Zonyas uh, or something like that. So just remember, just keep that in mind that even if they have flash, the damage will still register on them. So that was a really good play by me, I suppose. Uh, the, you know, like, like my carry and my support went down and I managed to just go on the Zarya, the easy kill, uh, ignore the Shen. Uh, since there was no minions anymore, I killed the last minion with my Q, went on the Zarya, easy kill, um, and then just killed the carries as they came close to me. 
So I'm at the point where, you know, I've got the Black Cleaver, Bork, and, and Triforce. Like, I, I'm full damage right now, you know, well, to a point, you know. Um, still have quite a lot of damage. And this is my, my power spike, you know, is, is, well, I'm in my power spike. It's starting to fade. My power, my power spike is starting to fade. Um, I should really get some resistances and, you know, um, try and, it'll, it'll, it'll transition from me killing the ADC and whatever to me trying to, um, keep like Kane off the Cogmore, uh, things like that. I'm in a really bad position. I should just die here. Yeah. And no mana and you stay, you stay in bot and whatever, you know, you deserve to die. Uh, as simple as that. I mean, what can I say? I, I overstayed and I deserve to die there. I mean, I should have just backed out and I could have TP'd for the Infernal Dragon. Oh, Mazaha gets two kills? Fucking hell, he must be strong. So my team gets two kills, so that's huge. So they still, they saved my ass there. I mean, even though I'm getting lots of kills and lots of gold, um, they still saved my ass by, you know, managing to get the Infernal Dragon right there. Now, instead of going to the wherever, whatever these guys are doing. Oh, they're chasing the Tristana. Janna's like, oh, I'm gonna kill you, Tristana. And then dies for it, which is quite funny. <laughs> but anyway. So what do I do? I go bot. Reason being, I have TP. Shen doesn't have any of his stuff, because he, he he recently uses TP. And what, I, I know he doesn't have TP at this point. I don't know the timing, but um, I know he just uses TP and what, what like all that. Just recently. So I have the power to go bot, match him, and my team can force Baron, eventually. <clears throat> so look at the damage I can put out, right? He's got uh, the Thormail. He's going for some uh, attack speed reduction. <clears throat> and they're probably going to come down for me eventually. Like, why wouldn't they, right? Kane's farming. It looks like Zyra's coming. But see, I'm pinging Baron. Oh, I know. Cop. Oh, who pinged Baron? Javan pinged Baron. But I, I was typing to my team, like, okay, you guys can go push Baron, I can keep pushing this and then TP up. So eventually I think uh, they got control of the, the, the vision on Baron. I'll fast forward this a little bit. As long as I keep Shin down here, right? So I'm pinging Baron, I'm pinging Baron, I'm pinging Baron. We see the mid, we know the mid. I'm chasing Shin down the lane just so we can't, you know, TP in or anything, right? So we get the Baron and I'm just going to keep going. Shin TP's in. I'm, I start TPing in here. So let's see what happens. I TP it in here, right? So I get my Q off on the, on the carry. On the cane. And see, I'm full health here. I've got priority on all these guys. Managed to kill the cast at an easy kill. Uh, early Q there. Mistake from me. But I've got the... There we go. Triple. Good TP. Uh, at the right time. Just keeping the pressure on Shin. So he TPs in and he's not very tanky because he's, you know, half health. And just focusing the right people, you know, like getting the cane. The cane's not really the priority. Uh, you know, he's, he's doing trash as fuck. But I mean, Melzaha can basically lock down Tristana uh, if he gets hold of her. Oh, if, yeah, if he gets hold of her. And then Cogmore is really good in the back line. So I have the power to just delete Kane's Zyra, um, take them out of the game, and then go for Cassidy. Especially because he was he got low. Melzaha's just really strong, so he can be that back line protecting Cog. And I don't have to worry. So it's really it's really good for me. It's quite an ideal situation. And the fact that they don't have Janna, they don't have Lulu, you know, they don't have like Gragas or something means that I'm free to just jump in and do whatever I want. I mean what's what's Kane gonna do if I jump on like, you know, Zyra, for example, right? Zyra's not the a priority kill, but you take her out of the picture, it's four v five, she's they've got no stun, you know, takes a lot of the major damage out of the picture. Cause even though, you know, she's support Zara builds, she builds AP, right? I mean, she's not going to build, like, Art and Sensor. So she's building AP, so that takes a lot of AoE, you know, like, magic damage out of their, out of their comp. So, now we've just gone for the Locket and the uh, Gargoyle Stoneplate. So I've gone for the, you know, the, the combo here. So, if you guys didn't know. So if we click on me, I've got 2,800 health. Um, obviously, I did go quite a, a, a damage-orientated build, but... Um, so if you use Lock, if you use uh, Gargoyle Stoneplate... You, <clears throat> it increases your uh, health by 100%. So, um, from 2800, you know, that would go to almost five, uh, sorry, 5600. Um, and then you just lock it from that. So, lock it, um, grants shield, da, 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 da. So, the 252 damage there is um, based on your bonus health, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's bonus health. Or max health must be bonus health. So when you when you combo them together, um, you know you you you're able to give a massive shield. 
Um, even though Locket got nerfed, like, uh, was it like, f I, don't know, I don't know how many patches ago now, um, the shield got nerfed on it, right? So it doesn't give the bigger shield. The, sh the shield's not like a static amount based on like your level. It's based on like uh, bonus health now. So if you hit, that's why the combo works so well. But in a team fight, you know, I can go off do my combo. If I fail or, um, you know, if I'm in a position where I've done all the damage I can and I'm just sort of peeling now, um, you know, then, then I can, I can activate the combo, give a big shield to my team and be tanky uh, frontline at the same time. Just get damage off on Kane. He's not a priority target to keep here really, but um, I mean, I'll prefer if Shin was down here. But I mean, at least if he's up here, um, it's just less damage that they have. I mean, if Shin was up here, I mean, they don't have their taunt or anything. So that's probably more valuable than having Shin and his little knock up. I mean, what's his items like? He's got, he's got three items, three and a half items, right? You know, he's got nothing. And then Jarvan comes. Kane ults. I'm moving away from the um, wall, so he can't, he can't just go through here. But if he goes into here, he's he's fucked. Let me get him. So if I if I move towards here, then he can go. He can e through this wall and get away. If I go over here, he he can't e through there and get away. He could get to about here, and then he's done. And while all this is going on, you know, we killed Kane, and my team is still, you know, uh, you know, overpowering these guys. Got the Zyra Flash like that, like nice and easy. You know, these guys are still managing to you know overpower the opposite team. So. That's kind of really good. I think it's just a late game, you know, the scaling from Cogmore. Even though Trist is fair, like, she's almost full items. Almost full items. And Cogmore, well, he's also almost full items, but that's okay. Um, I would have thought Tristana would have done a bit better this game, but having that Malzahar to lock him, like, lock, lock players down is just so valuable. So, anyway, what have I got on my build now? Do I have... Did I buy, like, a uh, pot? Or it still looks like I bought a... It looks like... Oh, I bought that a while ago. Oh no, I must have just bought it recently. Okay, so getting Elder Dragon. And obviously, as you guys can see, this is basically going to be the end of the game very soon. Um, managed to close this out quite well. I think I think having control of that Shen and not given the opportunity to, uh, you know, just, just ult someone on a scene whenever he wants and that sort of thing is just really valuable. Um, if you can dictate the pace of the lane uh, against the Shen, um, you know, it makes it really hard for him to decide whether he should alter or TP away and that sort of thing. And also keep in mind, like, after his W, after his W goes down, um, you know, you can re-engage and then fully, like, fuck him up. So, uh, I mean, you can play mind tricks, right? So if you engage and then, and don't activate your W, and you just start auto waking him, he's going to use his W probably, right? So then you back off, and then you re-engage, like, two seconds later, and his he's got no W for, like, you know, at least 10 more seconds so then you can get some really good damage on him and um he's got no defense against that so that's sort of how you go about beating him <laughs> fucking balls cogmore holy shit so i just jump in you know delete the zyra i mean if she's deleted it's, it's 5v4 right so um it's still an advantage to us i mean especially with the outer dragon you got javan over here he's got two guys on him right so these guys are trying to kill javan and there's four of us in the base. Zyra's dead. So they've only got Tristana and Cassidy trying to defend with a Zizarot portal. You know, what are they going to do? Jarvan, look, he's he's not going to die. What's he got? He's so fucking tanky. Gargo, you know, Randall and Stormmail. They're not going to kill him. And we just go straight in to win the game. Welcome to Plat, boys. And I would have thought people were better than this. Like... I mean, I know this isn't the highest rank, but, you know, you're getting to the point when you start to first, like, low diamonds and things like that, and, and I thought people would be... I mean, I've been on plat for a while, but sometimes you think people would be a bit more smarter, but, I mean, I guess there's the point where they think maybe uh, they're that far behind the game's lost anyway, but that's fine. So there you have it, guys. That's the game. Um, that's that's how I like to play Shen anyway. I mean, this is an ideal situation, remember. It's not, it's not like I was heavily... Uh, the team was heavily behind at the start or anything like that. It's just an ideal situation where you can build these types of items. Um, I sold the gargoyle in the end for the Titanic. I should have mentioned that. So I had so much gold, I just sold the gargoyle for the uh, Titanic just for the extra health uh, and damage just to carry a bit harder. Um, I didn't necessarily carry, like, you know, these guys managed to hold their own and everything like that. I didn't. All I did was just um, do my job, basically. Lock down the Shen wherever possible. He, he outtrades early game, but that's okay, you know. Um, managed to do my job and then eventually win the game like that. I think my whole team played really good and that's why we came up with the win. 
anyway guys that's the end of the video hope you guys liked it be sure to subscribe or like the video if you like what i'm what i'm putting out and i'll definitely see you guys in the next video